Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about how to get a man to give you anything you want. And to tell you the truth, it is actually very simple. But there must be certain conditions that will allow a man to be a generous Santa Claus for you. And I want to go over them so you will not have false expectations from men that probably will not be able to provide. But honestly, every single man is capable of providing. And I will kind of prove it um, to you. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Anastasia Zatula. I'm a Reiki master, NLP master, and I'm a feminine mentor. I studied Tantra, I studied femininity for many years, and this is something that I truly enjoyed. I turned my life around and you will be able to do as well. So let's get to getting anything you want from a man. Now I already did a few videos on relationship with men. So don't try to get something from a man just, um, just because you want to use him. So ideally you should be in some kind of relationship with man or give him something for him to give you back. So there must be a healthy energy exchange doesn't mean that you have to give him your life but if you will give him some kind of um, your company or your entertainment or maybe your inspiration or something like that um, it is okay for a man to give you gifts or to reciprocate somehow so if you are given the energy from within he has to give you energy from uh, from um, outside and the easiest way for a man to give you something is obviously through something material, either it's money or some kind of gifts. This is the easiest energy exchange. So um, let's start this uh, this video with, uh, with the fact that you shouldn't feel guilty if a man gives you something and he doesn't have to be your spouse or your father to give you something. It could be any man in your life. Now, it becomes a problem when a woman only wants to use a man for some kind of gain that's uh, that's energetically incorrect because uh, um, because there is not right energy exchange it should be you should be giving a man something a man is giving you something and if you feel like you are not giving a man nothing you're probably mistaken if that man is hanging in your life uh, he is obviously receiving something from you so maybe uh, he's getting some kind of your company or maybe he enjoys your uh, been around you, maybe he uh, he admires you or something. So you are given some kind of energy for him to hang out around you. Trust me and believe me. I went through this. I believe that I'm not delivering nothing to this uh, to this somewhat relationship, but I did. I inspired man. I um, I bring them luck. I bring them pleasure without even doing anything, and that's why they do want to do something nice to me because they see the benefit of being around me. Now, uh, we'll close that subject. You will never feel guilty about, uh, about receiving anything from a man. Um, uh, and I will prove you why do you think, why, why it's easy for a man to give. When you like somebody, like if it's your kids or your partner or your parents or somebody that you really like, isn't it easy to give something... Um, something uh, to make their day, to buy them something, to, to give them something that they want, even when you're sacrificing yourself. It is very easy. Now, sacrificing yourself part is wrong, but uh, I hope you got my point. It is, uh, it is very easy to do something for others, especially when we're in a masculine energy. So men will gladly give you um, something as well. Um, uh, masculine man, well, man overall, and especially masculine man, grew in challenges and caring for others. So when you care for for somebody, you're in masculine energy. Caring is masculine energy, um, and they need somebody to care for. If they wouldn't have nobody to care for, then um, they basically will stop uh, their growth. They they will be their life will be stagnant, so to say. They probably will find somebody who they who they can care for. And I. Um, I work with men, I know men, and I know how they feel when there is nobody to, um, to kind of, <laughs> to save, to help. They start searching for that somebody. You just need to be in the right place at the right uh, time. So, um, highly masculine men, they do want to give. 
Now, why do they want to give? As I told you that masculine energy is rather selfish. Well, our whole consciousness is rather selfish, but masculine energy especially, because unconsciously they expect something in return. Usually it's pleasure pleasure or some kind of validation or some kind of inspiration some ideas something and they do get them in return so if somebody a guy gives me flowers i'm so happy i'm i admire him i look at him differently well probably maybe i wouldn't do it for the flowers but but still it would be a pleasant kind of um, kind of thing <laughs> for me um and for him so i would um, i would definitely um, i would definitely send this and this positive energy towards him and he knows it unconsciously obviously consciously he it's not like he will tell me anastasia don't forget to send some energy he will unconsciously knew that he will receive it um like a few times i received even presents and flowers from men that i never even met just because i think it gives them this satisfaction of being this um this great man um, so, all right, uh, basically men do like to give and uh, unconsciously they're expecting something in return, what you already given them. Uh, usually this is how it happens. A man spends time in your, in your company. He really enjoys and he wants to give something because he enjoys your company and he feels like he owes something to you. It is absolutely normal. That's why they usually give, they care, they want to give something. Now, the more masculine a man is, the more he will give and the faster he will give. But overall men, um, especially men that are trying to develop to be men, uh, they do give and they love doing it. Now, different energy will give um, in a different uh, way. So if a man has Sun or Mars in the energy of fire, so Aries, um, Sagittarius or Leo, they will give fast and a lot <laughs> usually not thinking twice these are men that are very generous they do love bombing is about them um now men that are uh, so these are the most generous men if you want to receive presents all the time this is your man probably though he won't have much money because he is like this all the time and with everybody um but if he has a lot of money he is your man now uh man um a man energy of um of earth um so somebody who has mars or, or, or sun in taurus and capricorn and in virgo they give but they give on their own terms not as fast and it needs to be somewhat practical and somewhat somewhat uh, beneficial for your family so if you want to get uh, something completely useless you just need to uh, to find how it will benefit your status and your family overall or uh, you and him as a, as a partner so something it has to be something of practical kind of value now man energy of air do give uh, give easily not as much as energy of fire because energy of fire mostly give for validation energy of air gives uh, because they just don't care about material much so they do give but it has to be for a higher purpose like education for example you will tell him I want to take this course and um, it will really benefit me he will gladly pay for it you wouldn't even blink twice or something so it has to be something um, so you will tell him um, I want to buy a new purse uh, probably he would think twice but if you would say that uh, this new purse will really really complement your new style your new persona he probably will be more open to giving it to you um, now and man energy of water they give an emotion so there's a man with uh, Mars and Sun in Gemini Aquarius and Libra and man energy of man energy of air is Aquarius Libra and uh, Gemini man energy of water uh, cancer pisces and scorpio so this man they give on emotions when you are really happy with him when you guys are really enjoying each other ask him he will give you anything this this man give on emotions on emotions they can also refuse you something so you need to know when when is the right time to talk to him um so this is about the different man and how they give so if you are with the man energy of earth I mean don't expect him to do grand gestures and buying like 500 roses for you because this is not practical for him and he is not going to do that 
you rather ask ask him better for diamonds he probably will uh, deliver you diamonds uh, much faster because this is practical thing and you can sell diamonds after now um, uh, the more masculine oh so i wanted to also add this men love to give men love to care but it is a little hard for men to accept and to explain to you the point that um that men want to contribute something in return for the pleasure that you give usually uh, if you give them presents they feel indebted because you already given them something they already know that so they wouldn't want to owe you um more than they than um, than they already owe so for example i will bring you a couple examples i wrote here um uh, a long time ago i was uh, it was long long time ago i just moved to new york i was very young i was socializing with this guy and he was very um, he was generous and everything um he was not giving me like presents but uh, if you go out he obviously always pays like there was no no question about that he was not my partner, so we didn't have any kind of intimacy. So one day he went snowboarding and uh, he lost his mittens for snowboarding. I guess there are uh, special ones. And I was shopping in um, in a store and I saw ones and I bought bought it for him. I bought the mittens. Um, so when I presented him the mittens, he was not thrilled. He was like, uh, "Okay, thank you. I don't have nothing for you." And I'm like, "Oh, just I just saw them and I bought them." So in two days, the guy brought me a perfume I didn't really like much, but he felt so indebted to me that he wanted to, to reciprocate, to give me back something. It was those mittens were a heavy burden on him. He felt like he needed to give me something not to, to eliminate that kind of debt. That was the first one. Um, now, the second one, uh, I remember I was in Spain a long time ago and I was dating a guy and uh, it was uh, it was this my kind of habit of bringing presents and souvenirs to everybody and since i was dating this guy i wanted to bring him something so i brought brought him cheese wine kind of uh, whatever spain is famous for and the guy it was also very strange for him to accept it so he made it uh, he made a joke out of it and he left he didn't even accept it um, he said invite your friends and kind of uh, had have it with them so uh, I was obviously I was I was also wrong. I was in dirty masculinity. He would be much happier if I would spend the, the money that I spend on cheese and wine on myself. If I would buy myself something, um, I obviously bought. But if I would buy myself instead something, he would be much happier. So I just wanted to show you that uh, don't feel like you you need to give a man something as well. This is not not the case. You are given, especially if you are a feminine woman. Um, now um, I have really a lot of a lot of um, examples like this, and I honestly didn't know why men reacted as strange. Now, um, truth be told, I also reacted like this. I didn't know I will get to this uh, when I will will be going through steps, but but still, I also had uh, this heavy feeling of indebtedness when somebody would give me present, and I think I pushed the presents away from me because of that. So, in this video, I do want to encourage all of you to ask men for presents and, um, and to be open to them. Don't feel like you're indebted because you ask for presents. Don't feel like you're a beggar. Um, it's, it, this is not so. This is just a wrong concept that we have in our society. When a man asks you for somebody, um, he doesn't feel shy. He doesn't feel like... How dare he to ask that? Uh, yeah, you will, you can tell him no, but he will try it again. I mean, he will not take that no for a no, <laughs> for, for like a, a straight no. He will know that he will try it again and he will not be disappointed in you anyhow. So if a man allows himself, uh, himself to be like this, why couldn't you allow yourself to ask for what you want? Trust me, man will appreciate it. These are uh, linear creatures. So I will get to that, but still, if you want something you need to to ask for it it will only make your relationship stronger because uh, a man will have uh, he will start investing in you he'll start investing in relationship he would not let you go as as easy because he puts so much into into this uh, relationship and into you you become valuable to him and once you become valuable this relationship becomes stronger so 
do ask uh, men love women that know what they want and uh, that have high standards because this woman will push them to development the higher my standards are the more he will develop i already spoke about this and i will uh, in a couple minutes again um, so don't be don't be afraid don't be shy and definitely don't be ashamed of asking for anything trust me energetically uh, there is nothing wrong with this it's actually good when you ask for a man when you expect a man to do something for you as long as it doesn't as you do is you are not clinging to expectation that creates energetic pressure so you can ask for example um, um, I kind of need a new bag Do you want to give it to me? <laughs> um, but if he will say, no, not in the plans right now, and he did give you before, um, then you just you just move on, buy your bag yourself or ask somebody else. But if he never gives you nothing and tells you not in the plans, maybe he's not a man for you, but don't uh, like, don't hold to this, uh, to the grudge. Don't hold the grudge. So anyways, so how to get a man to give you whatever you want? I have here a uh, condition. So basically a man will always give you whatever you want, but there must be certain conditions met and we're going to go through them. Honestly, if you are, if those conditions are all met, a man will give you anything you want. That's just plain like this. And I saw it with my own eyes and I experienced that too. All right, so what are the conditions? The first condition is you must be significant in his life or give him something he can't get anywhere else for example he truly enjoys uh, your company he truly enjoys to to be with you or you're inspiring him something like that i met quite a few men uh, on my travels right now because i come from miami and miami is very very inspiring you know you see people they're very wealthy very so I have this energy in me. I cultivated it for so long. So I, uh, I maybe see things differently. I'm not as grounded. I believe in miracles, so to say. I believe that I can, that I can um, change my life. I believe, like I believe in a lot of things like that. And men that talk to me, they suddenly start believing in themselves. So for them, my company is crucial. They wouldn't want to lose it. Now, would I need their company? No, only if they contribute. Uh, that's why maybe I don't hold on to, to uh, any of the men right now. So you need to be something of significance. Remember, we're all selfish and masculine energy is especially selfish. They're not going to do nothing unless you are contributing somehow to his life. You could be his mom, for example, and he will, um, a masculine man will, will deliver something. Um, now, the second condition is he must have the ability, money, resources, time or something. So ideally, you need to ask him for 10% more of his ability. So if he is okay to pay um, to rent an apartment is, let's say, 4,000 a month, ask him for 4,400 apartments, so a little higher. This would challenge him and make him... Um, um, make him do more but yet won't break his back because if you will ask him especially if it's energy of water man for let's say a six thousand dollar apartment a month he, that would be cha too challenging for him that's already a huge gap now if he is energy of fire he probably will jump on that i don't know whether he will be able to um to deliver for a long time but he will jump on it so usually he must have the ability so if you're asking for rolls royce and the guys make it thirty thousand a year and he doesn't have any investments or bitcoins or anything um and he's not silly enough to sell his kidney i mean maybe he's not the guy to ask for a rolls royce so ideally it has to be somebody who has the ability also if you want to fly around the world and the guy has um as a company that he needs to have uh, he needs to stay there and to have his presence there all the time i mean he doesn't have available time how are you going to fly around the world with him he doesn't have time that his resources are not available so and the, um, so for example if he finds the time and he says well i can go for two weeks ask him for three weeks 
So something a little higher, always just a little higher than what he can give you. Um, so he needs to have the ability. Again, don't ask for somebody for something obnoxious. I mean, that just doesn't make no sense. But always ask for a little more. So if his availability to buy you, uh, to buy you an engagement ring for five thousand, tell him that seven thousand would be a little better, maybe. Uh, just uh, as long as it's your standard, right? Um, the third one is he should be giving himself something similar, something similar, or have the ability to give himself something similar. For example, um, a few weeks ago, I was with this guy, we were just having dinner and um, it was so funny. He wanted to impress me somehow. So he was showing me, he liked my perfume. My perfume is, um, I think it's like $500. So he really liked it. And uh, I guess he liked it so much, but he didn't ask me. And then at the end of the dinner, he said, what do you think about this perfume? He wanted to buy me the perfume. And that perfume was very, very low uh, price. It was, I think, like maybe $40. Um, and, uh, and I told him, no, this is not the perfume I want, but I can show you what is the perfume that I want. So all my perfumes are in this price range, 400, 600, like this. Um, yes, there are perfumes that are much more expensive than this, obviously, but uh, for me right now, this is the perfumes that I like. Um, and so I showed him a couple, he was shocked. He was looking like he couldn't believe his eyes. He couldn't believe that there are perfumes that cost $500, $600. He could not even believe, he couldn't even grasp it in his mind. What I want to say is that if, if somebody never bought something like this for himself, or he doesn't even believe that it exists, it would be very hard for you to ask him for it. Now, if his energy of air or fire, he probably will get it for you, um, but it's 50-50 like. So it needs to be something that, um, that is normal for the guy. So, um, like I have a friend, he, um, he buys himself expensive perfumes, he buys his friends expensive perfumes, he buys his girlfriend's expensive perfumes. So when he asked me, what do I want for Women's Day, it's uh, March 8th, I told him, um, I will send you my wish list and uh, you can just look at it. Um, and he said, okay. So he got me one of the perfumes because it is normal for him. He has the, I am significant in his life. He has the ability, he has the money. Yeah, it might be a little more expensive than um, than he than he expected to spend, um, and um, and he regularly gives himself something like this. So it was easy for him to 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 give me this perfume. Um, now, so don't expect a guy to give you five hundred dollar perfume if he never saw perfume um, above fifty dollars. So it just it will be very strange. Now, um, another condition is you have something that he wants. I already spoke about this, but uh, still, it's either pleasure, your body, <laughs> um, some kind of maybe peace of mind, uh, maybe some kind of emotions, maybe company, maybe inspiration. So something that he wants. A man will never give anything unless he has a, a, an agenda for it. So usually uh, a man delivers when he when he wants something from a woman and you need to have it. Now, if you don't have, if you're walking on the street, you saw a cute guy and you come to him and like, hey, um, can you give me this? Like there is this um, this girl on TikTok. Uh, she basically comes and asks the guys to, to buy it. And some of them do buy. Uh, so when you, you come and ask him, he's like, unless he likes you physically, he's not going to do nothing. But you must have at least something for him to, to see it as a, as a somewhat decent investment. Um, another one is you're feminine or masculine and I will explain. So if you are feminine, you need to ask and trust that he will deliver. So for example, if I'm feminine and I am, this is, this is what I do. I'm telling like, uh, I'm feeling like having a new bag would be so good if you will get me one like this. Now, if I'm masculine or sometimes I do also ask in masculine or I have clients that are masculine, it would be better for them if they will do it in a masculine way. And in a masculine way, it will be something like this. Um, 
you invited me to spend a weekend with your parents, I will do it, but I want a bag in return. So masculine energy is basically um, a better negotiators. So, and there is nothing wrong with that. The man, someone loved it. I used to work with a man like this who has a wife and he said, I know what she wants. Like I will have no hard feelings ever. Uh, she asked for what she wants. I asked for what I want and we're happy. And, uh, and that was basically was the, um, I think they were successful like that because uh, if he wanted her to come to a corporate party, he would say, what will, what will cost me to, for you to come to a corporate party? And she basically will ask for something and he will deliver her, she will come to the corporate party. So like this, um, don't try to be, uh, if you are highly masculine, don't try to be super feminine, ask him and trust that he will deliver. You don't have the patience for that. You don't have the trust for that. So it's better to be um, frank and forward uh, than to, than to try to be feminine. I mean, obviously you have to develop femininity, but uh, not when you want something. Now, when, if you are feminine, you basically mention what you want, you know that he can deliver it, and you know that he will, like that. You trust that he will uh, give you what you want to have. Um, now, another one is you need to speak and voice your wishes. Otherwise, a man will give you what you don't want. That's basically it. <laughs> he will not give you nothing because he thinks you are, you are happy as you are. And I, uh, it was my kind of, uh, my difficulty for a long time. I thought that a man should know what, uh, what, what I want, what I need like this. Or a man should kind of guess. I don't know where I was getting this from. Maybe I was reading too much of those romances or something, but I believe that everybody is like Christian Grey. He, uh, um, he knows my size, he knows what, uh, my style, and the, he runs a successful empire. Now, it's not like this. Masculine men, they have their mind occupied. You need to be leaner with them. You need to tell them what you want. Otherwise, they will just think that you don't need nothing because they are like this. If they want something, they ask for it. So they expect everybody to be like that. Um, so you need to, you need to say, I remember one time I was dating this guy and this is a very, it was a very uh, crucial, um, crucial event for me because it turned my mind around. Um, so I, I was dating this guy, he was very masculine, he was energy of fire and I had a birthday and uh, I had enough power to ask him for the birthday gift. Uh, but he, so he gave me a birthday gift. I never really, I told him, choose yourself, whatever you want. So he brought me this figurine, gold plated. I mean, what I'm going to do with it? I was so shocked. I was disappointed, but being a good girl, I basically say, thank you. It's so beautiful. But I came home and I was very unhappy with it because what I'm going to do with it? Why couldn't you just buy me something useful? Um, so I was brewing and brewing like this. And uh, in a couple weeks or a week or so, next time I saw him, I was, um, I was somewhat, uh, um, I had a couple glasses of uh, wine, I was a little uh, drunk, well not drunk, but I mean I had, uh, I had enough testosterone to express my wish and I basically told him in the dark um, when we were already going to sleep, I told him, you know what I want? I want the earrings, I don't want this figurine. And he did, he bought me the diamond earrings, it was very significant for me. He said, why didn't you tell me that you want diamond earrings? And I couldn't even, I was already so embarrassed that I even asked him that I couldn't even speak. So he did got me the diamond earrings. And um, I want to tell you that at that moment, I realized whose fault it is that I couldn't even speak for myself. Um, so it is important. You need to speak and you need to, um, um, and you need to, to tell a man that you do have wishes. Um, and it would be better if you will make it simple for him. Like I already spoke about it you should have like a wish list. Um, I do, some of my friends have, so you should have a wish list and anytime a man will ask, well, what do you want? You can just send a wish list and he can choose uh, from the presents that, uh, that you have over there. All right, another one is, um, oh, here, here it is. So when you ask something of a man, I mean, don't change your opinion, just be prepared to hear any kind of answer. So if he will say no, that doesn't exactly mean that you don't deserve it or something. That means that maybe 
not now or maybe something else something like that so don't accept uh, no one go in the corner and cry basically like this a feminine energy is much stronger than masculine you will be able to change his opinion uh, but overall um, this is um, um, this is uh, this is how it is be ready to accept any kind of uh, respond if a man tries to to get you to do something that you don't want to do and you tell him no he's not turning around and walking on you right he's He's like okay fine you know <laughs> i'll try another time so you should be like this too be ready to accept any kind of answer don't be afraid of that it's okay um and another one is a man will match i should make this the last one but okay man will always match your standards so if you if you have a poor stingy man next to you this is the masculinity inside of you are you giving yourself something are you are you capable of giving yourself the luxuries that you expect from men men outside will always match the man inside so don't blame them don't i had a very wealthy man in my life i had very unwealthy man in my life and i it was a particular times of my life as well um, so if you are spending money on yourself you will have men that will be capable of and willing to spend mo money on you i guarantee you that all right and uh, the last one you need to learn how to accept graciously remember a man masculinity overall does something for its own benefit so a man gives you a gift because he wants something in return what will be that in return so if i'm for example a queen let's say of greece <laughs> even though there is another queen but so imagine i'm a queen of some unknown co uh, country and the man wants a man will give me a gift to just have my basically my favor to him just just for me to even pay attention to him now if i'm not a queen but a common anastasia i mean i obviously um i need to get, I, he will expect something from me in return and that something doesn't mean i have to give him something material that could be uh, my my gratitude validation of him so i could for example say oh my god this guy he's just so He's so generous you know i will tell all my friends and he will feel great because i'm speaking so highly about him or i'll put on stories look what my um my amazing man got me and he will feel this this warm feeling he will feel like he did it um, um he did it right now um uh you you need to you need to know how to accept so ideally you should be grateful and you should be in pleasure for that so the guy gives you something you should be like oh, thank you so you shouldn't be like like so so grateful that that you didn't even expect that you never received the present you couldn't be melting in this feeling completely you should feel strong and be grateful I mean if a guy will give me flowers yeah will be I will be great for the flowers if the guy will give me a gift I will be grateful for the gift but I wouldn't lose myself like I never received flowers again I mean man likes men likes women with high standards so keep those high standards don't don't allow a small a small kind of um, event uh, change you completely so um, and also uh, you should be okay with receiving gifts you should be like like it's expected like it's normal in your life as i said it was difficult in my life not only from men but from anybody if somebody would give me something i felt like i have to give back i felt like i need to give something and this uh, feeling would, would be so heavy on me um, that i really stopped enjoying receiving presents because i was just like I couldn't stop with this like I couldn't start feel uh, stop feeling about oh my god now I have to look for a present for her or for him now what I'm going to give and uh, you know it was not planned why did this person give me the gift I, I had other plans for my money like this it was driving me crazy instead I could have just accept um, just um, just say thank you and and be done with that so make sure um make sure you don't you don't feel like i used to feel because if you start feeling like this your mind will be protecting you from this stress and you will stop receiving gifts from others you obviously don't want to do that uh, so if a man gives you something you feel like you're entitled to it because you are obviously he wouldn't just be giving you just because he get, he is getting something from you feel entitled feel grateful and if you don't like the present you 
graciously explained to him that he would be more happy to get a different present. So like this, if all these conditions are met, a man will give you anything you want. If the first three conditions are met, the man will give you anything you want. Um, the last four, the last, not four, the last six are just to ensure that he will be motivated to give you again and again and again. So let's sum it up. Um, if it is good for a man to give something, man grows in challenges and in, uh, in caring for others. If it wouldn't be you, it will be somebody else who will be, um, um, who he will be given to. So better, better yet, let it be him. Uh, let, let it be, let this be you. All right. Um, now there is certain, uh, some men give, um, given different, um, different energies give differently. So energy of fire gives fast, uh, very active energy of air gives fast. If it's for some bigger vision, um, energy of earth gives slow practical gifts. If energy of water gives on emotions, basically. So know who your man is. Now the conditions to, to receive gifts should be, um, you must be significant in his life or you must have something that he needs. So maybe your inspiration, maybe your pleasure, maybe your beauty. So men don't mind to, uh, to give gifts to a beautiful woman, to accompany them to certain events, they feel more confident. Um, he must have the ability to do this. So maybe resources or money, or this could be time also, depending on what you want. And you need to ask usually what 10% above your ability. So if he's ready to spend 5,000 on your bag, ask him for maybe 5,500 or 6,000, something like that. Um, I always ask a little more, this way he will grow and you will grow, obviously. Um, he should also have something similar or at least have some kind of idea that what you want exists in his life. You could not ask him for a, um, for a Rolls Royce if he, if he never seen this car, if uh, Toyota is the best car in his life, you know, so it would be, it would be challenging for him and for you. It's a, too big of a gap, energetic gap. Um, then you have something that he wants, obviously pleasure, peace, emotion, something. If you are feminine, then you ask and trust that he will deliver. You know that he will, you're strong feminine. If you are masculine, then you basically ask what you want. You, you put it as a condition for something. This is normal. I see it often, very often, and it works. If you think that it doesn't work, it does work even better than the feminine approach. But feminine approach is the right one though. Um, now you need to speak your wishes and, uh, you need to speak your wishes and you need to be ready to accept any kind of answer he will give you. So whether it's no or yes, you should be absolutely normal. He's like, oh, he will say no, not right now. Okay. Let me, let me go and <laughs> work on changing your mind. Basically this, if he said yes, of course, then you thank you very much. <laughs> I will put it on, on your credit card. Um, it is um, now uh, men are linear, so they will expect you to speak. If you don't speak, they will basically think that you don't need nothing. Um, men always meet your standards, so make sure that your standards are high. Make sure they are high. There is this uh, bag theory, something um, that if you go on a date with an expensive bag, um, like expensive jewelry, the man will know that he has to he wouldn't take you just to a random McDonald's. He will have to take you somewhere nice. He knows this and he'll see. Uh, he might think that you're too high for him. And then that's a different question. But at least he will know that he needs to deliver because he sees you already like this. Um, and learn to accept gifts or anything the man gives you. Be gracious, be grateful and be, feel entitled because you are entitled. If a man is giving you something, that means that you already given him something that he wants and needs. A man will not offer nothing unless he already wants something from you. He already receiving something from you. Trust me. I checked it so, so many times. No man will offer something. No man will give you something if he's not receiving something else. He wants to give something because he receives something and he feel indebted. That's what it is. So when he gives you something, feel grateful, feel entitled and feel great. All right. 
that's it for this topic. I feel like I already did something similar, so I will look in the, in the library of my content and if there is something similar, I will put in the description for this video so you can also watch it. Um, if you have any questions, ask. If, um, if not, uh, please put in the comments your experience with asking um, and receiving. And, uh, um, and I do encourage all of you this week uh, to um, to ask a man for something. Now, right now Venus is in Leo, so obviously we are very our feminine energy is very bright, very showing off, kind of very um, um, wants like the best in life right now. <laughs> the money is spending and and this and that. So do ask. Now, on the other hand, the Mars is <laughs> not as as active, but. Uh, but do, do ask for something, at least for something small. Um, allow yourself to have this experience and allow yourself to, um, to get proof to my words. I mean, I have a lot of proof from myself, from my clients, from, um, uh, from my, my surroundings. So I do have a lot of proof. I want you to see the proof though. I do want you to see. Once I start asking, man, I just, like a couple days ago, I was talking to the guy um, he wrote something, something random. I haven't talked to him in some in a while, and uh, he was asking, asking, asking me, and I'm like, "What am I getting for answering all these questions?" He's like, "What do you want?" And I said, "Well, I I, I saw this bracelet I want to buy. Will you buy it for me?" So he sent me hundred dollars right away. He sent me. You see, I wasn't even expected he would, but he did because because I asked and he and he wanted to keep the conversation going, and I don't feel any any kind of sad or bad for it the guy obviously can afford it he made he made me smile i made uh, i made him smile kind of like this you see it is it is an amazing amazing feeling um yeah you would say well it's only a hundred dollars yeah it is a hundred dollars but but you know a hundred dollars here hundred what i mean is um it's not about the amount it's about that the man can can bring this happiness to my life now if i would be um, in need for something for something bigger something like that I could I know that I can ask man and I know that they will give me um, this hundred doors well this is not like the first one the first time but this hundred doors just prove the point and I want you to try to do this I want you to uh, to ask and I want you to receive this is um, that's as easy you won't be able to do it unless you start practicing unless you start um, unless you start getting proof for yourself so I can tell you I can give you a thousand examples in my life but unless you do it yourself um, it will be kind of hard to believe but because I'm close to you you will be able to on my experience you will be able to to build your experience so um, I challenge you <laughs> The challenges never work with me, but I do inspire you to to try um, to try and to get yourself um, to get yourself something. If it's hard for you to ask and speak um, and ask without an event, without a kind of with some special occasion, then do ask around your birthday. So when you have a birthday, for example, you can um, you can ask something like, so for example, the guy sends you, hey, happy birthday. Um, blah blah what are you doing and you're like well thank you am I receiving a present too and he's like what is he going to say he will say sure what do you want and then you can tell him I have a wish list I can send you and you will choose what uh, what you want to give me on the wish list make sure you have different price ranges obviously especially men that you don't know too much they you, you wouldn't know what are their ability to spend so um, preserve their ego and allow them to choose whatever is comfortable for you so start with a special occasion it doesn't have to be your birthday um i don't know for example maybe you graduate from somewhere and um, the guy will like oh congratulations something like that maybe the new year is coming the same thing so it could be any kind of occasion if it's hard for you to just ask a man um then start with special occasions now if the man is yours if you guys are dating if he's your husband then there's no excuse you should be asking him and asking him all the time remember you're doing it not only for yourself but also for him he grows like this 
So allow him this, um, allow him the growth for yourself and for him. If you wouldn't allow him, he will find somebody else who he uh, will be given. Yeah, especially if he's masculine, it might be some kind of charity event or something like this charity case, but he will find somebody who he will be given. So uh, on this note, I'm finishing. Enjoy this video, send it to others who will benefit from it. Please like and comment. Um, now I speak like a real vlogger. <laughs> and, uh, and if you have questions, ask. Bye everybody. Uh, enjoy your day.